So my name is Bill Kane, and I'm the owner and operator of Hat of Kane. Hat of Kane is a, a, a specialty shop. Uh, we call it a, a salon, not a shop, uh, dedicated in Panama hats. Probably the Sinatra and the Cuban. I have two. I have one hat maker that makes some beautiful, beautiful hats, and those those are my favorite. And it's uh, very similar to the shape I'm wearing right now, which is that. But the Sinatra and the Cuban come in different colors. They come in a, a, a kind of a tan color and a white color. So very, very traditional, classic Panama hat. Very gentlemanlike. Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, Panama hat probably be a Sinatra. Uh, every day, a flat cap. Love the love the flat caps. Fond of Singapore memory. Um, oh, that's a that's a good question. Um, I've had 27 years of great days every day here, so I can't really pull out one. Um, I, I think the fondest memory is when you land here after being away. Singapore has a smell, and it's, it sounds kind of stupid, but you land here, the heat hits you. And there's a there's an aura about it, and that that is probably the I know that I'm home when that happens. Two things that inspired me. Um, my previous life in the corporate business was a very customer service driven business, whereby it was a lot of service recovery, and that took a lot out of me here, constantly trying to. Uh, appease and fix problems and I just wanted something that's light and fun and easy to do. Um, I've always loved hats, uh, could never find a hat, especially a Panama hat in Asia. So um, over a breakfast table sitting with Charlotte, she says stop complaining about your day job and, and do something about it and follow a passion. And because I was in mobility, I was traveled, had friends all over the world, so I called up a good friend in, in Quito. And I said, introduce me to some people. And that led me to eventually go to Ecuador um, and build up a supply chain and learn everything about Panama hats and the rest is history. COVID and, and the circuit breaker has really given us an opportunity to step back and look at our business in a different light. When, when I started, it was just merely a, a hobby. It's just something to do. But now it's becoming a serious business and we discuss more and there's more thought going into our next move and what do we need to do and how are we going to get there. Um, uh, one of the stepping out areas was going online. We had never gone online. It, it, every hat fits differently and it was the, we felt that, oh, we can't sell online because the hats are not going to fit. But we've worked around that and uh, the online store is doing great, and uh, it was a it was a good move. And, and, and 2020 forced us into that arena, and uh, it's proven to be very successful. So we're pretty excited about that. <laughs>